Hi guys and welcome to episode 3 of the rebuild challenge with Sporting Lisbon. I'm going to apologise again, I'm still a bit ill, it wasn't just hay fever, I've got a cold as well so I do apologise for me sounding and looking horrendous. But we've played a couple of games since we were last here. We played against Santa Clara in the Allianz Cup 3rd phase group D. We It was an annoying game, like they scored early on 22nd minute and we did actually play that well like it was I don't know we had a lot of shots like a hell of a lot of shots I think it was an E30 and they only had like 10 or something like that I could be completely wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what it was let's have a look yeah they had five shots three on target we had 29 but we just couldn't play well we couldn't get a goal like their keeper was incredible as well just wasn't to be more than that we then went on to play HJK in our first game of the group stage Europa League and we smashed HJK 5-0 with Cabral with the brace. Playing amazing he is, he's so fast as well. Rostovsky as well, Rostovsky sorry, um, with one. He's also very good at crossing in the ball, which is really good for a fullback. The way we play him anyway with the wing backs. And Vargas getting on the score sheet and uh, Bastos as always coming on and getting us a goal as well. They did get a player sent off after the 50th minute, but as you can see, we're already 2-0 up, so the game was pretty much wrapped up already. Uh, we then played... Alright, I'm going to butcher this name, but give me a second. Morius... Morienze? Moriens? I'm going I'm to go with that, Moriens. But uh, we went 1-0 down, and I thought, oh, here we go. You know, happening again in the league. You know what, Sonny? 1-0 down. But then DRB decided to play pretty good, and overall we did play pretty well. And today we're going to play a double header against Sporting Braga and Benfica. Not going to be an easy game, easy games, but we're going to do what we can because Braga also they're probably our level, maybe I think, right? Give or take. You know, the squad pretty much picks itself at this stage. Coates is becoming amazing, and obviously Vargas has already. You know, mass improved. Determination's gone down a little bit, but it's nothing to really worry about. Uh, Rafinha's still out, obviously. Quite a while left. Still got five months. But overall, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with how how we've been doing. Like, I'm doing quite well. Is that Abafemi Martins? Fair enough. He's doing all right as well. So it's got yeah, 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 Torre. Talk about retirement, hey. Right, well, they want us to tell us it's for the fans, give your fans the money's worth. Still only listening keenly, but here we go. We're playing Sport and Braga, we are away. And let's see what we can do. Here's an early kick uh, highlight. Oh, it's only falling to us, Vargas! Oh, he's hit the post! <coughs> Excuse me. That was quite lucky how that fell to him then. So as it stands, we're two points behind top of the league. The Porto, who are the only team with 100%. Although Benfica are playing today and can go top as well with 100%. So we've got Borgia on the ball at the moment. Gives it to, down to Fernandez. Whips in a lovely ball. And Javan's there to whack it in. Off his bean. Very good ball from Bruno Fernandez there. Great run as well by Javan, and he almost missed it, you know. But still, very good taken header. <coughs> Excuse me. I think the goalkeeper would have uh, committed a bit more to that. I'm not expecting a win today. I'll be happy with, I think, a draw, a 1 0 loss because we're away, maybe. But I think he draws a minimum I want from this game. Diaby, oh, I feel like he should have crossed that across the box there. Might have had some better options. But either way, we're doing we're doing pretty well so far. Can't complain. Twenty minutes in, one nil up. Horter on the ball for Braga. Trying to start the counter. Nowhere to go though. Number thirteen slices him out. Game seems to be full of highlights already. Fernandez gives it to Wendell. Lovely ball over the top. Derby's nearly gets in there, but Javan picks up the loose ball. Sneaky little goal. Keeper should never get beaten on a near post like that. Never. I tell you what, we may have lost Rafinha for six months, 
But Yvan, I think, might like take the permanent spot as a uh, right winger. He's so good on the ball. So fast as well. He's just been playing very well. I mean, he's got both the goals this game as well. He just can't stop scoring. And there was me worried about losing Rafinha. I mean, it's still a big loss. It is still a big loss. But we've got nothing to worry about at the moment. As it stands, we're joint top. Because in the league, we are also 100%. Obviously, the game we lost against Santa Clara was in the cup. Which still have a chance because we have two more games to play in the group stage, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't going to record today because I feel a bit rough. Oh, yeah, yeah, Torre. But, um, you know, the show must go on. Feeling better than I was the other day. Like, I'm not fully bunged up, so it's not a problem. Just apologise for the sniffing. Half time, 2 0 up away at Braga. Very good result. Very happy with that. Yeah, I agree. Just say we're happy. Happy, happy, happy. Braga gets the uh, second half underway and they're coming f guns full blazing at first. Don't think Ribeiro needed to do that sort of <laughs> dive, but you know, fair enough. He's probably bored. Did Vargas win that header? He's like two foot. What a shot. <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to playing Benfica in the next game to be fair. Not afford I mean Porto either. All three of us so far won every game. If we can somehow keep with them for most of the season, we might actually have a chance. Alright, can Bastos come on be a super sub lucky always in the score? It's not needed at the moment, but you know, take as many goals as you can. Yaya Torre on the ball for Braga. Lovely whip out to Wilson. He crosses it in. Oh, not a very good header. The keeper's very lucky with that because if he hits the target properly, like he should, it's an easy goal. Wilson, though, and Ribeiro just picks it up. They are being the better team this half, so a bit worried we might not be able to keep a clean sheet. Although overall we're doing really well, hitting the target a lot more as well. So that can be our issue, especially the game we lost against Santa Clara. Um, bring Bruno Gaspar on. Just try and ride out the last 10 minutes, boys. To be fair, this game's never really looked in doubt. They have now gone three up front. Old Femi Martins, I like to call him. Oh, I thought he was going to get the um, equaliser. The, uh, get a goal back. Be nice if we can finish him off right at the end. Especially after the good attacks they've had. Right, Vargas on it now. Tries to switch it, but it only goes as far as Dost. Who decides to leave it. Martins with a free ball. He's made it through to Diego Salza. He's at the post. We are quite lucky they can't hit the target. Send the game ref. Don't lose the clean sheet now. Fernandez clears it to Dost. He's on his own, but he's got all the time in the world. What's he going to do? He's waiting for support. Oh, he's managed to get it, Javan. Oh, he had more time. Didn't have to hit it first time. It's good we don't need a goal, because that would have been a bit annoying. Right, this should be it now. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had like two hours sleep. I feel like I'm dying. Offside, and that's got to be it, ref. Come on, ref. Right. Great result. Did not expect that, I must say. Passionately tell them we're very happy. They're happy. Everybody happy. All good, all good. We'll definitely praise him again. How's he looking like he's growing at the moment? Yeah, he's, he's growing up. He is such a good player. Especially looking at the stats we've got. His finishing's only 11, but he is scoring non-stop. 
He's not as fast as I thought, to be fair. Like, he's all round very good. His physicals are very good. He's not, he can't jump, though. But yeah, I'm happy with that. So, we'll uh, come back and we'll play Benfica in a sec. See you in a sec, guys. Hi, guys. We're back. Just in time to play Benfica. Uh, as you can see, Porto did win their game. But not a problem. Although, this will separate the, you know, the boys from the big boys. That's not the saying, I know. But I cannot remember what it is. Shouldn't be any changes needed, really. We're okay with everything. And we're going to get straight into the game. Is anyone I want to scout? I recognise that name. Pizzy. Or Pizzy. No, Rafa, I scout with him. I recognise Diaz. Is that the Greek goalkeeper? German? Fair enough. Oh, okay, he's originally Greek, but he's oh, he's either grown up in Germany or played there for... Yeah, he, he grew up there and played there for long enough to be classed as homegrown and whatnot and be eligible. I was having to do it for our fans, because... Oh, they're starting to receive my talks well. We've got a sellout as well, 50,000 people. Obviously, it's against Benfica, one of the biggest teams in Portugal. I'd argue that Porto are currently the biggest team but as I said my knowledge is not great on Portuguese football although I'd say as in how far they get in Europe and stuff like that I don't even know who won it last year to be honest we hit the bar from the first a couple of minutes though keepers in no man's land right Benfica on the attack with Gedson at the moment running straight through the middle gets in the box takes a powerful shot just over the bar I'd be obviously very happy with a draw here. I know we're at home, but we are quite a ways behind these two. Oh my god, it's gone all the way through! Wendell! The long throw strikes again. This is why I like doing it. You never know what's going to happen with the long throws, even if your player's not good at it. Borgia with a lovely, lovely long throw in there. But somehow, Gabriel leaves it. The other player leaves it, and Wendell's just there to tap at him. So far, we're going to go... We're going to win this game due to some dodgy defending for by Benfica. And I did not expect that. Although there's a long way to go. Ribeiro with the acrobatics again. He's loving that in these games. I just hope he can do it when it counts. Because he's doing it when there's no danger at the moment. That's a big kick. And it's found its way to Vargas. Borgia. Wendell. Gives it to Bataglia. On to Rostovsky. Oh, it does one of his side strikes again, but it just fizzes past the post. It's an even game at the moment. I know we're winning. <coughs> Excuse me. But it is an even game. Same amount of shots. They're just winning on possession. But I'm quite happy with how it's going. Depending on how much money we get, I don't really know. Oh, no. Awful defending. Oh, no. Oh, we've been let off there. No. We got let off there. We got let off. Oh, right. Gain composure. Right, as I was saying, um, depending on money, I don't know where to strengthen. Maybe another centre-back, but we do have some good potential ones coming in. And they're Portuguese, and I want to try and keep as many Portuguese as I can. But as you get in the season's regen, there tends to be some really good, like, South African, Chilean, Colombian, um, Argentinian, Brazilian, you know. Really good regens coming in. They're really hard to not sign them, because they're always so cheap and so good. Vargas is through. Oh, well, how did that not count? How did that not count? So Vargas hits the post, it rolls on the line for that player to smash it against the post or the crossbar, I think it was. That's insane. Great defending. What a game this is. This game is definitely going to be won by blunders, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully I'll uh, be feeling better in the next episode, guys. Right, do the same again. Fans, it's the same players that are happy with us, so that's good. Hopefully the team leaders like us, the guys of influence. Right, Fernandez with the ball. <coughs> Excuse me, over the top through to Diaby. He's through, almost a one-on-one. -on -one. Great save, oh! And he's there for the tap-in. I was worried then. I thought like it's going to be offside or something. I just thought something was going to go wrong. It's only his third goal of the season. But, you know, he's doing alright. 
Fernandez was a lovely boy over the top. In real, real life, actually, I've just seen today. Obviously, this will come out a few days later. So, that'll probably be old news to you guys. But I've just seen today that Bruno Fernandes has apparently agreed personal terms with Man United. I hope not. Uh, I think Liverpool were linked with him uh, yesterday. But, I mean, I don't know if he'd fit into the Liverpool squad. But, you know, I am a Liverpool fan. That's why I'm talking about it. It's not random. But, yeah, I'm a bit... Not too sure, because he's played very... I think I saw something like he scored 32 goals as an attacking midfielder last year in the Portuguese League. I don't know if that's just the league or all competitions. But either way, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. So I'd love to have him at Liverpool, but if it's true that he's going to United, then it's obviously money talks, because United can offer the money, even though they're not doing that well the last few years. And um, obviously the history of the club, because even though Liverpool have a big history and we are currently the better team, Let's face it, United are a very good team over the years as well, so it's a very hard team to reject. Right, Zivkovic. Gets him for Benfica. João Felix, who again I think is going to leave soon. Ooh. Should have enough. I read about um João Felix, actually. Again, I could be pronouncing that wrong. But apparently when he was uh, at Porto Youngsters, I don't know how old exactly, like 11 or something, apparently they released him due to him being too small for a striker. So they released him on a free. Benfica picked him up, and now he could be going for, what is it, 111 million euros, I think it is? It's incredible. Speaking of the devil, he's on the ball. Oh, I thought he was score then. Good defender. Keeper picks it up. Oh, I thought he was going to do a carrier then and just throw it to the attacker. Right, so Gaspar's on the counter at the moment. He's not really going anywhere with it, but he's whipped in a quick ball. I thought he might have lost it. Right, Borja on the attack, gives it to Wendell. It takes a long range shot. Oh, I thought they hit the post. Bar, sorry. Borja's going to try a long throw again. Can it work the same? It's gone to Pataglia. Gives it to Gaspar. Can he whip one in? He does. It's only gone as far as Wendell. Back to the Bataglia. Tries the other side, but that's it. End of the game. That couldn't have gone any better. Like, beating both teams. I did not expect that. And Benfica are probably the second best team in the league. We're at home, which helps. But yeah, as it stands, we joint top with Porto. They got one better goal difference than us. Who's actually, um,. Scored the most. Let's have a look. So we scored one more goal, but they conceded two more than them, which aren't against big teams either. Funnily enough, Des Chavez. They're the ones who scored two against us as well, ironically. But we scored the most against Des Chavez, and so did they. That's so weird. But yeah, um, I hope you like this episode, guys. If you do, please hit that like button. It really helps. And subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you for next time. See you later.